In an uncharted section of the jungles of South Central Africa, Tarzan and Darno come upon Major Burton Ashley, Jeanette Burton, Dr. Wong Tai, and Terence O'Rourke. The four whites are lost and near exhaustion. Tarzan kills a gigantic, half-human, yellow-skinned creature in their defense and leads them out of immediate danger to a distant riverbank. In proceeding downstream, the entire party is overpowered and captured by a large band of strange, yellow-skinned giants. Tarzan and Darno manage to free themselves from their bonds and escape, presumably leaving the others to their fate. Angered at the escape of two of their captives, the savages drag O'Rourke, bound hand and foot, to the edge of the river and are about to throw him to the crocodiles. Oh, oh it's awful. Those fiendish brutes. Don't watch it, Janet. Ashley, Janet, look. In that tall tree at the edge of the river. Where? Where? What is it? No, no, no. High up in the branches. By George! Tarzan! In a great tree that leans far out over the river, Tarzan, in full view of the little group, stands poised on a huge limb high above the water. The ape man watches the scene below him with alert eyes. Bound and helpless, O'Rourke is lifted from the ground by two of the great yellow men and tossed far out into the swift flowing stream toward the approaching crocodiles. <laughs> With a despairing shriek, the Irishman disappears beneath the surface of the water. With keen eyes on the spot where O'Rourke disappeared, grasping one end of a stout trailing vine in his left hand, the ape man leaps out into space, swoops downward toward the surface of the river in a wide, dizzy arc. Rolling over and over in the swift current, O'Rourke comes gasping to the surface. A great bull crocodile is almost upon him. About to sink again, O'Rourke hears a loud splash in the water beside him. Two bands of steel encircle his body. They grip, tighten, and he is jerked from the water as the crocodile flashes by underneath him. With effortless speed, his steel-muscled legs gripping the Irishman's body, Tarzan climbs hand over hand up the trailing vine to vanish in the thick foliage high above the heads of the astonished yellow men. Oh, oh thank heaven. By the cues of my ancestors. What an impossible feat for a human being to perform. I've never seen anything like it. Utterly unbelievable. It is very apparent that those yellow fiends are of the same opinion, Ashley. Look how they stare up at the trees. Mademoiselle Jeanette. Uncle Jim, did you hear that? Ici, here, at the edge of the clearing. Behind you, my child. Lieutenant Dardo. taisez Make no noise. Do not watch me. Keep your eyes on the yellow men. Lieutenant Darno, what? My dear, steady. Do as he says. Pay no attention to him. Quiet, mademoiselle, and I shall cut you loose. So, now lie perfectly still until I have freed the major and the Dr. Wong. But, but what are we going to do? How will we get away? In a moment, Tarzan will appear on the riverbank, upstream. He will lead the sauvage away from camp. Now, Dr. Wong. I say, Dano, we'd about given up. Hey! Dano, the yellow brutes have apparently forgotten us. They are running up river. Boom, boom. Now, on your feet and follow me. Bien, bien. Where to? The dog out. Run. Oh, Rock. He's safe, Dr. Wong. He will join us presently. By Jove, man, how did you get out of those straps they had us tied with? Are they not? <laughs> Under my fingers. Never tied by a seaman. It was not. Here, the rifles. We must take them with us. The yellow men, they see us. They're coming back. Hurry. Watch those fellows cover the ground. Beat, beat, Major. Into the boat. But Terry, where are you? Never they... mind, Terry, mademoiselle. Here. Let me give you a hand, Arno. By Jove, this, this boat's heavy. Always have I. If we can only get it afloat. Here. Take your rifle, Dr. Warren. We'll try to hold them off. Uncle Jim, Lieutenant, hurry. Voila! Jump, Major! She is afloat at last! Here, Uncle Jim, your rifle. Never mind the rifles. The paddles. Aussi vite que possible, Dr. Wong. We must get out of the range of those spears. Once in the middle of the river, the current will carry us fast enough. Lieutenant Darno, on the bank there, Terry. He's running downstream. Oh, those fiends will catch him. They see him. I did not realize Tarzan was leaving him so near the camp. Pull him toward the bank, Dr. Wong. My jump. Jump, Terry. Hit the water, you fool. They're right behind you. 
A crocodile swimming downstream to head him off. Shoot, Jeanette, shoot! Find your aim, Janet. You've missed the brute. Pull yourself together. Take your time. Swim, O'Rourke! Swim! You got him! No, no, he's only wounded. He's still... You see, Ashley, hit that brute over the nose with your paddle. Here, O'Rourke, your hand. Bien, bien. If we in with you... Oh, big guy. Him yellow head and almost got me again. Oh, that was a close call. <laughs> close call, I should say it was. That croc almost got you. Faith, and he did that. If Tarzan hadn't yanked me out of the drink when he did. And if Lieutenant Dano hadn't pulled you into the boat just now, you'd be giving some crocodile indigestion. Well, was there one of them satchel skin brutes after me now? After you? He almost had you. The wonder you have any legs left. Oh, sure. And that's what he was shooting at, Akushla. Well, I, I was so excited, I I guess my aim was bad. Where is Tarzan, Orok? Faith and I don't know. He dropped me out of the trees and said the lieutenant would pick me off the river bank when he came by yeah. in the boat. How did you manage it, Dano? You and Tarzan must have moved quickly to both be in the right spot at the right time. Eh? We were behind the fringe of jungle waiting for a chance to help. When they dragged Orok to the river, Tarzan knew what they were going to do. He made his plan on the spur of the moment. Hey, Ekute, listen. Talking drums again. They are probably telling their tribesmen of our escape. Well, let them bat their drums till their arms fall off. We're safe as long as we stick to the river. I'm still thinking this stream will carry us to the Congo. Perhaps you are right, O'Rourke. If you are, why do those savages keep pace with us along the bank, eh? By Jove, Wong, they must know we'll be stopped along the route somewhere. I'm in favor of leaving the boat as soon as Tarzan joins us. If Tarzan thinks it is a good idea, we can still make for the opposite shore and strike off into the jungle. What, and be recaptured by those yellow fiends as soon as we land? Speaking of the opposite shore... Do you notice, Lieutenant, how steep and high the bank has become, eh? Almost a cliff. And the current is much swifter than it was when I reached the boat. Me more. I had not noticed. Uh, keeping to the middle and watching those sauvages held my attention. Lieutenant, downstream. Tarzan just dropped out of a tree into the water. There, you see him? He's swimming out to meet us. Oh, grasso, bon Dieu. I was beginning, my dear, to wonder where he was. <laughs> Our Seth and Hugh's friends have also seen him. Here, Wong, your rifle. Take yours, Oro. Watch out for Crocs. I'll give you a hand with the paddles, Lieutenant. Yeah. Have you got everybody, Dono? We, Tarzan. We are all here. All here, safe and sound. All right. Go straight downstream. You'll see if O'Rourke's guess about the Congo was good. Oh, Tarzan, that rescue of Terry, the way you pulled him out of the river, it was wonderful. Yes, old man. Just watching you swing down from that tree took my breath away. And when you snatched Terry out of that croc's mouth, the most amazing thing I ever saw. Eh, uh, in the excitement of escape, Lieutenant, we, Major Ashley, Jeanette, and I have forgotten to express our appreciation for your help. Mais je vous prie, monsieur le docteur Wong. Say no more about it. Tarzan, I was just saying to Dano that I thought we'd best make for the opposite bank. No, we'll have to stay with the dugout. But those fellas keeping peace with us over there. It must be because they know we'll have to leave the boat sometime. Well, maybe, but not now. Look up there on the other shore. What do you see? Why, nothing. Watch closely. I saw them from the trees. Yellow men. They're running along the top of the bank, back from the river. They expect us to land on that side. He got it. We'd have a hard time doing that, even if them devils weren't there. Just look at them cliffs, sheer down to the water. If we do land, we must do so on this side. And those fellows know it. That must be the reason they are following us, eh? There's a bend in the river just ahead. 
Once beyond that, we may find open country again and low banks. The current seems to be getting swifter all the time. Those savages are forced to run like deer to keep up with us. We're going into the bend now. Keep to the middle, Darnold. By the saints, look at that, would you? We're running straight into a stone wall. And look, the there, crawling out of those cave-like holes in the cliff. Good Lord, there must be hundreds of the yellow fiends. Well, Terry, your guess about the Congo. You missed it, eh, old chap? Maybe I didn't after all. Look at the foot of the wall. That big hole. The river goes right into it, under the cliff. Me voila, mes amis. You see? There, how it narrows near the opening. The sauvage can reach us with their spears, and easily. Yeah, and those on the cliff wall above. They are preparing to drop stones on us. Ah, well, this looks very much like the end, my friends, eh? Darno, I'll take the steering paddle. You, all of you, use your rifles. Three on a side, and keep them off. We're going into that hole. Oh, but Tarzan, cataracts, waterfalls. If there are any in there, we'll be dashed to death. Rather that, my dear, than being fed to the crocodiles or worse. Steady on. We're going to hit that opening at tremendous speed. Watch for rocks from above. The rifles now. Fire! <laughs> <laughs> 